I'm back with another Lush haul and it's a Lush Christmas haul and it's actually not the last one of these you'll see, you're going to see one more because they had a sale. I got me some stuff. Smaller box this time but that doesn't mean less items. <laughs> So let's crack it open and I'll show you what I got. Oh, feel the smell. Smell the smell. So the first item I got is actually one of their face masks. So it's actually been living in my fridge because that's how you're supposed to keep them. Cranberry festive face mask. Dress your face in antioxidant cranberries and restorative argan oil for seriously smooth skin. <sighs> I quite like it. Like it's not the, the best of smells. It's not a gross smell at all. It's just very perfumey, I guess. And then the next item I'll do, I had an issue with, but their customer service, oh my god, it's so good. I ordered a 250 gram pot of their Needles and Pines shower jelly, and they sent me the 100 gram pot by accident. So I sent them an email, but because it was Christmas, it had been a few days, so I tweeted them, and they sent me this via next day delivery. Then I got a reply to my email saying, oh, I can see my colleague, you know, sent you out a new one yesterday, but please let me know if there's anything else I can do, blah, blah, blah. And it's like so refreshing for a company to have that good a customer service. You know, unlike some of the other companies, Zbox. So this, Oh. I don't think it's actually a Christmas product, but I got it because it's like needles and pines. It's really fresh. A woody evergreen infusion of pine needles and cypress leaf creates a scent to transport your mind to finish forests. You put this in the fridge and then take it out just before you have a shower and then you're kind of like cold on your hot body. Next thing I got was a Lush kitchen item, which it's the first time I've ever got one of these. And basically they are really like freshly made and they're kind of a really limited edition. This one is called the Strawberry Santa. Freshly made by Peter, so I'm assuming that's Peter. Hello Peter. And it's a shower jelly. <laughs> and there he is. Oh, he's slipping, he's slipping. Oh, that smells so good. Yep. Yep, I am looking forward to using that. Fresh strawberries, fair trade vanilla and seaweed extract create an irresistibly sweet scented jelly that will soften your skin too. God, my hands are like, oh, oh. The next item I got is a first for me as well. It is one of their fun items, which is basically like Play-Doh for the bath. This is a gold one. And it says, this limited edition gold fun is scented with the comforting caramel fragrance of honey I washed the kids. And then you can use it as soap, solid shampoo, and you can use it as a bubble bath too. So you can pretty much use this for anything. And I'm pretty sure it smells amazing. Oh, 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 that is quite a nice smell. Wash and play. This next item I got before in my last Christmas haul. It is the Butter Bear. Pampen and soften skin in vanilla scented bear hugs with fair trade cocoa butter. Oh, yeah, and I really like the smell of this one. And this one's like the cheapest thing. I think it's £1.95 and it's a bath bomb. It is quite simple, vanilla and cocoa butter. Can't really go wrong with it. Okay, the next item I got was something I kind of mostly got because I wear uh, the Jeffree Star lipsticks now. A lip scrub, fizzy cola tasting Christmas kisses. This is like packed to the top. Like literally, like look at that, that is packed in. And it's so cute, it's got like, you can probably see it better there. It's got a little heart confetti in there. Oh my god, that smells so good. So yeah, it smells of coke, or cola, if you will. So, oh my god. That smells amazing. The next time I got is a shower gel and it's rose jam. Oh, yeah, I quite like this one of this. It's not too rosy. Adorn your skin in an opulent organic Turkish rose and sweet fair trade vanilla lather. So it's rose and vanilla and it smells really good. It's not as sweet as you would think it smells. The next item I got, ooh, it's Bouche de Noel, and it is a cleanser, and it's made of fresh satsumas, a handful of dried cranberries, and a drop of brandy. So there we go, that's what it looks like, it's all brown on the bottom, that's probably the brandy that's settled or something. It doesn't smell of anything in particular really, it just kind of, it's a cleanser, so it's got that kind of fresh, not very strong scent. And the face masks, it says to put those in the fridge, I'm not sure about this. It was used by March. We've got a few months. Got a few months worth. The next item I got is one that I have purchased before. Glittery mess, glittery mess. It is the Snow Angel Bath Melt. 
and it's got a ton of glitter on guys white glitter and silver glitter on the front and then it's got gold on the back and it's just like oh and it just smells so good look at that already look at that use that and i was just like oh my god because i was just lying in the hot bath and it felt like my whole body was being hugged i love that oh yeah and then i got another so white bath bomb it smells of apples mm -mm -mm. Ooh, and then I got a new item. Yay! This is called Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb. Oh, yeah, I like this one. Honey scented streams of Brazilian orange and bergamot waltz with swirling colourful stars. This is going to be so colourful. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. The icing on the cake, and it's a shower smoothie. Softening cleanses are a piece of cake when they're made with creamy almond milk and chestnut puree. And this one thinks it's food because it's rustling. Oh, I'm looking forward to using that. How squidgy is it? Not that squidgy. I think it's called like the icing on the cake roulade. Roulade. However you say it. Now I think there's only two things left and I got both those in my last... No, I didn't. I got one of those in my last order. The first one of those is the Yognog soap. And oh, this is my favourite soap and favourite smell. Oh my god, it's so damn Good. So just imagine like nutmeg and fudge and this is what this smells of. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so good. And then we have one more thing for this haul and it is the Old Father Time soap. Now in the um, book it showed of like all the cogs and stuff on there. I only got the edge. The edge of a cog. The edge of a cog. I really like the smell of this. It's quite herby and earthy but I really, I really like this. Gloriously herby sage and thyme infusion. It's also got like red currants in and coconut oil and myrrh and rosewood. With their soaps, they make them in a big old, big old, <laughs> I need to stop saying that, a big circle shape and then they cut it to size. I really like it. Whew. As far as I'm aware, everything in this box is vegan apart from the lip scrub, which is veggie. So yeah, that was my Lush Christmas haul number two. I have another one coming in the form of a Lush Christmas sale haul. Been a little bit naughty. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. See ya!